What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel where being late to the party is my middle name. Today I'm going to be talking about my personal favorite game released this year, Black Myth Wukong. It's been a month and a half since its release and since we're at the time of the year where the Game Awards are like two months away, I figured I might as well talk about why it's my Game of the Year pick. But before that, make sure to let me know down below what y'all picks are for Game of the Year. And also subscribe, thank you. This game has really entered my all-time top 5. It's mad fun. I haven't completed the game yet, but I'm 4 chapters deep and ready to start the 5th. And before y'all come at me for not finishing the game yet, some people are busy with life. Now that's out of the way, let me start with listing some of my favorite things in the game. First, the combat system. As much as some people out there may disagree, the combat system is simple and makes the pace of these boss fights feel so good. You gotta constantly throw out light attacks and sneak in the last heavy hitter from the combo, but you also gotta be careful to not spam too much. Cause then you're just gonna be swinging at a brick wall while the boss smashes you into a pancake. But because you're constantly attacking, it doesn't feel like the fights actually last all that long. Like, for an example, in Elden Ring, which Wukong is similar to, but I'm not going to make that comparison, okay? You're mostly trying to charge up the heavy attacks and wait for the right moments to hit. And I mean, the charge attacks in this game are good and useful and knock the bosses down, but unless you want to go insane fighting the bosses, you're going to use the light attack. Something I wish they did, though, was give a different combo for each stance. Like, you get a new heavy attack, but each light move is the exact same. I mean, you do get to unlock some other moves in the skill tree, but they're also for the charged attacks. But moving on now, to the most important part of this game, the bosses. These are some of the most creative fights I've seen in a game like this. Wukong is based on Chinese mythology, I, I think, I don't really know for sure. It's something I've heard, and these bosses look really cool and sometimes just absolutely disgusting. Now, I gotta say that as far as how hard the game is, it's not all that difficult. I fought at least 50 bosses or more at this point, and I really only struggled against like 5 or 6 of them. It's the Black Bear, the Black Long, the Yellow Wind Sage, which is the worst fight in the game. Horrible, terrible, terrible time fighting that thing. The Dragon Lady in Chapter 3, Baji, Tiger, all of them. That's like 6 or 7. Oh, and Yellow Bro, 8. But you can understand what I mean. Oh, and Poison Frog, 9. The thing is, if you've played a Souls game before, they're way harder than this. And I'm not saying Wukong is a Souls game, it's not, I don't know why, but I'm not putting the target on my back. Long to short, the bosses ain't all that, but they are cool. But now we're going to talk about maybe the second best part of the game, the upgrade system. I don't know what a meta Wukong build looks like, but I've seen people make some tough looking builds. Like I've seen people make one shot builds, like builds that are so good they just one shot the boss. You got the skill tree, the armor sets, the other things, I don't know what they're called. There's not a whole lot to say about this part, but it's still pretty dang awesome. The thing is, I want to say that I'm 100% confident that Bukong would win Game of the Year, and it is my pick. But then there's other games like Space Marine, which is my other pick if Wukong doesn't win. And unreleased ones for this year, like Sparking Zero, which anime fans are already going crazy for, bro, including Isaiah. We had some really good ones this year. Nothing too crazy. I think Wukong is up there for at least one of the best this year. But we don't know what the game of the year is until the awards actually come. So subscribe if you haven't. I'd appreciate it. And leave a like on the video. And leave a comment with your picks, of course. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.